Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the author of What is WebSphere and the SCJ Certification Guides. I'd love it if you headed over to mcnz.com, took a look at some of my free tutorials, um, bought a couple of copies of my book, maybe even uh, clicked on a Google ad or two. It's just nice to see what my sponsors are doing. I always help support the site. Anyways, one of the things I want to talk about right now was uh, the action processing phase of a portlet. I've been putting together a little number guesser portlet here. Um, we're basically just asking you to guess a number between 1 and 10. I guess higher, five, five is correct, play again. Um, so it works, it, it's it's functional, it's got a couple of quirks to it, but it, it works pretty good, and it's been a great learning exercise. But the problem is, all of the code for this portlet is placed in the DoV method, and that is wrong. You shouldn't be doing things like session management and, and complex code inside of the render phase of a portlet. It should all be factored out into a special method that this portlet currently doesn't have, called the action processing phase of a portlet. And so what I'd like to do is I'd actually like to make a couple of changes. Um, the first change that I'm going to make is actually to the JSP page that I use. And on the JSP page that I use to submit the form and ask the user for the their magic number, when somebody clicks the submit button on the form, I don't want to trigger the rendering phase of the portlet which is what happens when you have a custom tag that says portlet colon render URL. What I want is I want to use the portlet action URL custom tag to trigger the action phase of a portlet. Sorry, I'm just going to delete that there. So essentially when you have a portlet um, and you want to do some sort of form handling, form handling should always be done in the action processing phase of a portlet. The way you trigger the action processing phase of a portlet is by creating a portlet URL that's associated with an action. And there's a great little custom tag called portlet action URL that creates one for you. Now I'm going to click Control S to save that. I'm going to take a look at my number guesser portlet. And my number guesser portlet currently has everything coded into the doView method. That's wrong. What I want to do is I want to factor out some of the major processing and place that processing into the process action method of the portlet. And so what I've done is I've actually copied some code from uh, my book on JSR 168 portlet development, and it kind of changes what happens inside of the number guesser portlet. I've created a new method, and the method is called process action. I notice it gets an action request and an action response passed in, as opposed to a, a render request and a render response. And important things like session management and state management all happen during the process action phase of the portlet. Now, in fact, most of the code here is just code that's been moved from the old doView method to the new process action method. But how does this portlet work? Well, essentially in the do view method, what is it that we, we do? Well, we get the context, we get the session, we see if there's a, a message in the session. Now, we always put a message into the user session to tell them to guess higher, to guess lower, but if there's no message, I guess that means it's their first time coming to this website. If it's their first time coming to the website, what do we do? Well, we'll figure out a magic number between 1 and 10. We'll stuff that magic number into the session with the name magic number, stuff it in as, a, as an integer. We'll set the number of guesses to zero, and we'll put a little message into their session that'll be displayed by the JSP that says guess the, guess the number, and then we forward to the JSP. Now we only do that if there's no message inside of the session. Okay. Um, however, there should be a message inside the session, and if certainly if an action has been triggered, um, there's all sorts of different messages that will be placed into the session. Now in this process action method, this is going to be triggered when somebody clicks submit on the form. So when somebody clicks submit on this button here, it's going to trigger an action URL to be invoked, and that triggers the action processing phase. And what do we do in the action processing phase? Well, um, first of all, we, well, we want to use a session, so we get the portlet session. Then what do we do? We uh, make sure somebody's click the guest submit button, and if they have, well, what do we want to do? We want to make sure the magic number is not null. If the magic number is null, then, well, I guess this is their first guess. We'll create a magic number and we'll stuff it into the session. Also set their guesses to to zero. Um, what else do we do? Um, we want to take the magic number um, and grab that. 
So store it as an integer. Um, find out how many guesses the user has. Um, along with the, the guesses, we actually want to figure out what the user's guess was. Okay, And uh, from there, what do we want to do? Well, if their guess was greater than the magic number, we say guess lower. If the guess was lower than the magic number, we say guess higher. And if it was correct, we say is correct, play again. Now, nothing really new is happening um, inside this portlet. All we've done is we've shifted the functionality out of the doView method and into the process action method, where things like state management and state changes and mode changes and things like that should happen. Now, I'm going to click Save there. I'm going to go to my web browser. I'm going to right click on my portlet and say run on server. That will bring up my portlet. And I will click on the number guesser. And as you can see, it basically gives me the same functionality. Okay, the big difference is that I'm now using the action URL. And I think that the JSP was cached. So I'm actually going to restart the server and try this one more time um, after deploying the application with a restarted server. And actually, I've just realized that there is something else missing. One of the things that I do inside of my JSP is, uh, for the input field, I provide a name for it, and I call it guess submit. And you'll notice, inside of my portlet, I make sure that the submission is associated with guess submit with sort of three S's in there, guess submit. So anyways, as I was checking for this, this value didn't exist. It was always null, and so my portlet wasn't behaving properly. So now, when I retest my portlet, hopefully it'll trigger the process action method. And it looks like I got a log back into my portal again. Hopefully my new changes have been redeployed. So we will run, run on server. And now let's see, five, guess lower, three is correct. And so it's all working. Again, a very easy mistake to make. You always got to be careful. Um, and the mistake that I made was I changed the action URL but I forgot to provide a name parameter for the input field. And of course, my number guesser portlet checked for that value. And since it wasn't there, it was always becoming null and skipping this. But anyways, it's working now, um, so that's uh, very interesting. Um, the last thing I'm going to say is uh, that uh, I do run scj.com and mcnz.com and pulpjava.com. Please head over there. Um, please charge as many books as you can to your uh, charge card without getting in trouble. Um, click on a Google ad or two, visit some of our sponsors, and uh, enjoy working with Portal. And the last thing I'm going to say is, happy Portal.